We're back here in the final segment of our program uh, with Peter Nygaard today, uh, talking about uh, the issues regarding uh, Nygaard Key um, here in the Bahamas. Um, and Peter Nygaard, let me ask you, do you think uh, that your association, your friendship with the Prime Minister and the perceived, your perceived support of the Progressive Liberal Party might very well be responsible for the dilemma that you find yourself in? It's a very good question. Uh, I have never wanted to be political, and I'm not. I am a supporter of people, of, 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 you know, and of all levels, you know, whether they're athletes or, in fact, whether they're leaders of this country, to, make, to be able to help out to make it better. And I've been, I've been, I've been supportive of uh, Perry Christie when he wasn't the, when he wasn't the prime minister, and 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 help, it certainly helped him to become a prime minister to my little part, and it's not that big, but the little part, and uh, and 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 then I was supportive of Frank Watson and other F and M people as well. So I've been person, people person, and 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 we why. Because that's what you have to do to live here. When you're in Rome, do as the Romans. You know, I first of all rejected everything, and I wasn't so welcomed. You know, I had to make my contribution. Okay, if that's the way you play the game, so I'll make a bit of a contribution, but I want to make it in a very careful kind of way. I'm so disappointed. I had such high hopes for Prime Minister Christie. He really wanted to build his legacy, and he told me that. And I said, that's wonderful. I want you to leave with head high, leave something for the Bahamian people. You worked all your life you know, for this, and he does. I kind of say this about him. You know, I know him so well. There's so many people who are corrupt. This man is not. This man is not. This man has heart. This man works hard as he can, always for the benefit of everybody else. He works so hard, I, I almost feel that he's going to die in office. You know, you know. I see him at seven o'clock in the morning. I see him at ten o'clock at night, and the guy's exhausted. You know, I said, "You're going to keep doing that. You're going to kill yourself." I said, "Start doing what I'm doing." I said, "Peter, I don't have the time." I said, "That's the problem right now." But he also has got one major flaw that he's slow. He doesn't get decisions done. He doesn't get the action done. And to me, he's, I, I already told him earlier, I said, please don't repeat what, what, why you went down last time, you know, for the same reason. And he's repeating it. You know, I'm one, only one of many actions in here. It breaks my heart. And now I don't have time anymore to wait. You know, I want him to succeed, you know, and uh, like uh, I always have wanted him to succeed because if he succeeds, his country succeeds, you know. And, 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 and I'm, I'm, out, I'm out there like a lot of people are telling us, get moving, mm -hmm. get this thing done, get my thing done now. You cannot sit there with an injunction for three years. You got the power, Mr. Prime Minister. It's up to you to do it, you know. So, so I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that right now, I'm not happy. So then, then comes the next issue. So who, Mr. Niger, would you be happy with? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> now we pass choices, right? <laughs> and the choice is not that easy, you know. If you look at the choices in here, so you know, so it's, uh, everything is a, is a game of alternatives, right? You know, yeah. and options, you yeah. know. And so, so I'm a continue to be a supporter, you know, and I'm continue to now to be a critic, you know. And I'm reflecting really what a popular mood is out there, and I am pushing for action. And I want everybody to push the man for action. Are you bitter? Are you bitter about um, uh, the inaction yeah. uh, with respect to Nigad Key uh, and the level of frustration that you are experiencing? I don't know if the right word is bitter, but so disappointed. We have wasted three years. You know how valuable this life is for all of us and for me, and to waste three years. You know the biggest price of all? The biggest price of all was the big trophy, the stem cell trophy that we all went on this agenda for, that the vision of this government was to set this country in a proud position of being the number one country in the world in this newest cures that we have called stem cells, and to build a clinic for the world. 
you know. A number one ambition, I would have had the Prime Minister out there already now promoting that clinic out in the USA on TV channels and say, come on into Bahamas, we're open for business. We got the best architecture in the world to get the very best people in the world to come over here and practice. You didn't want to do it at, at uh, Nygaard Key. Um, are you still interested in developing a stem cell facility uh, in the Bahamas, given all that has happened in the last few years? Yes, yes, yes. It, 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 we have the best laws here now, you know. And the laws are there to protect this whole country and to protect everybody to making sure that there's no fakes coming in, there's no no false signals, there's no snake oil guys. Because this industry is also full of fakes, you know. 90% of the stuff we sell, but it's going to cure you, it's actually not true. But there is 10 to 15% that's very true. Now, those are the guys we want in here, you know, can practice medicine over here. And we have the best laws in the world today, you know. And I'm very proud of Beret's some contribution to that. Mm -hmm. And he should be credited for that. Mm -hmm. What he is, what this has cost us, and cost him and me and for the people of Bahamas is that we would have been on our way by now. Never mind Bahamara. Bahamara was insignificant compared to this project. This was by far much more significant and long-term issue that had a reason for people to come to Bahamas. You know, you take a Bahamara, it's hard to find a reason you're not gonna come to visit Bahamar, mm -hmm. you know. So these judicial reviews, these injunctions, slow down or you or cause you to put a hold on what you want to do with respect to stem cell yes, research. Yeah, yeah. No, look, anything we were even trying to do, even when it was going through legislature, Bacon spun it as Mr. Prime Minister is doing it for Peter Nyka's personal benefit. That. This, that is crazy, you know. I, there was never so he spun it in all kinds of ways as a beginning a negative. Then he used it in a in a more negative way at all, as if I was going to build a stem cell clinic at Nigat Key. Are you kidding? That would absolutely be out of the question. You know, nobody life at Key people don't. Nobody want that, want, want it there. No, no. This is this is a. 100 million, 200 million. This is a, this is a, I, I always talked about this is a product. You look at three things there. You're going to see Atlantis, you're going to see Bahamar, and you're going to see the clinic, you know, mm -hmm. as the big trophies. And I'll tell you, clinic would be number one, now, you know. No, this, this is, this is, this, this would be, this would be the, really the new nation building, and this would be the legacy for the prime minister himself. I always tease him about it. I said, look, Obama has Obamacare. You got Perry care. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wh wh where are you um, uh, investing in stem cell now in, in in the world? All over the world, by the way. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, him, I mean, China, big time. You know, and partnership with BGI with Beijing Genomics Institute. You know, which is do the genome, genome. You know, that which you combine a genome with SCNT, and you got you got the holy grail up there. You find out what is wrong with you and you have ways of curing it. You know, so, mm -hmm. so, it's, so, so um, uh, we've got big investments going in, in, uh, in China. Big investments going on in some of the other islands. I'm big. We invest a lot into St. Kitts now. In St. Kitts? Yeah. Uh, St. Kitts is a nice little island, you know, that's very medically oriented, you know. They don't have much other things going for them except their medical schools, you know, and their medical type of tourism. Uh, you know, uh, when it comes down to competing with the rest of the islands, uh, you know, they, they, don't, they don't have any, but they have that. And they had prime ministers who are doctors themselves and understood it, uh, you know, Denzel earlier. So, and, and they got some really, really top end scientists already there. So I'm, I'm, I'm investing into major, major research there now. You know, this is, so I can even tell you, it's about $10 million investment now over the next three years into this whole SCNT program. Mm -hmm. SCNT, for audience remember, is somatic cell nucleus transfer, where you're actually recreating your own self in a petri dish, mm -hmm. your own stem cells, and you can then take those stem cells and inject them back into your own body and renew your body parts. Now, this, this just so if I may, this goes all the way back to Dolly the sheep, and Dolly the sheep was a clone of Dolly the sheep. Well, you can't not clone human beings legally, but you can take and should take their own stem cells and then differentiate those stem cells into mesocarmen stem cells, into different types of stem cells, and inject them back into your body, and they will regrow your body. Regrow your body part. Listen to me. 
I mean, this is, this is unheard of. I mean, this is, this is way out there, you know, in space. And I've been on it for five or six years, and six years ago they thought I was sort of voodoo king, you know. And now it's a very popular topic, you know, and every time I have a meeting, man, it's just people all around me, all ages, et cetera, so it's a very explosive topic. And the government wrote laws for SCNT, you know, semantic sound nuclear transfer, that we can actually use it and practice it, you know, mm -hmm. safely, you know, but use it and practice it. Uh, so this is the top of the line in terms of the stem cell world. You know, and then if anybody knows about stem cells, there's a huge piece platform underneath it. And then you end up with your own adult stem cells, so which all over your body, including in that oh, nice yes. sized oh. stomach of yours. Yes. Now everybody's got that stomach. In there is millions, billions of beautiful stem cells that are just sitting there like an addict and not being used in your body. That's why fat is so bad, because it accumulates all these stem cells and they go into dead end, go into the addict, and you don't see them every day, you don't use them. Mm -hmm. So now we're harvesting a lot of the stem cells out of the fat and putting them back into your body where they belong, you know. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, Here, here's some key issues. You get sick. Have you, have you done it? Yes, yes. I've taken them, not only taken them, I then expanded them multiply them because they expand, you know, they, blah, 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 they grow. You can, they grow within your body, but they grow outside your body, got, uh, yeah, outside your body as well. And then you can get more of them because we are running out of stem cells. Stem cells turn into cells and cells turn into tissue and so forth. We are just a whole combination of cells, you know, we're walking a hundred billion trillion down here and those are fed by the stem cell. And your body's just recycling, recycling, recycling. You know, you lose your skin. To, to, uh, every two weeks, you get a new skin. You know, it's all it's all narrow over there. You know? What about the ethics of of, of all of it? I'm, I'm sure that uh, that has been discussed uh, mm -hmm. um, on numerous occasions. Um, what are the ethical considerations uh, here? And, and that is a big sub, 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 subject, you know, and the, the religious the religious community. Some religion, you know, um, for, for example, religious in uh, China and, and even India do not have a concern about this at all. The Christianity is very much concerned about, about playing God, mm -hmm. you know, with this field, about recreating life in itself, because that's left to the... God, right? But you know, it's 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 an interesting view. It depends where you draw the line. You know, I I, I had a meeting with the Christian Council. He said, he said, Philip, be very careful where you draw this line now, because the audience out there very much are informed today, and if you're going to preach something that prevents them from getting better, for perhaps the wrong reasons, you're going to lose them. You know. Mm -hmm. So many cultures, you know, are, 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 are not same way concerned about, about this point as the Christianity is. But many parts of Christianity also are starting to recognize as to what this is all about. Now, I have a tape there, and one of the priests there is preaching my message. He says, you know, in a very good sermon, he said, Peter and I, God said, you know, we have within, God has given within our body the ability to cure ourselves, you know. God has given us that ability, you know. Now, that's so true, you know, that in there is God somewhere. And it may not be exactly where we are preaching today in this little community of ours, and, but there certainly is, certainly is God. The more I study this field, the more I realize that God is that woman. So, so, so <laughs> you know, the God is the woman. <laughs> Her ability to create life is is, is amazing. You know, yeah. she goes right up there the pedestal for me. You know. So, so he is uh, so enabled uh, uh, mankind, given the wisdom uh, for for mankind to heal yeah. uh, uh, himself. Yeah, that's the, the, who's put that ability in our head. The God. I mean, uh, we we can figure if we can figure a lot of this out and how to take. Our body heals itself constantly, right? but somewhere along the line, we're programmed to die, you know? And, uh, and meanwhile, we don't really have to if we could find a way of 
making our ability, give our ability to live longer. I guess we lived till 800 years, uh, you know, way back in, in the beginning of the, uh, the man's civilization, so the, so the Bible tells us. So why, why we can't live 800 years now then, you know? Like, so what did we do right then and stop doing right, you know? You know? So, so, so the ability... Perhaps, perhaps the years were shorter. Maybe the years were shorter, whatever the explanation is. Yes. But, but the point here is that God has given us all this ability and a challenge to use all this ability, you know, and, and, and in fact, it's, it's not even being true, real, true Christian is, is not to use our ability to the maximum. You mm -hmm. mean? So you can, you can take a few of this whichever way suits you best down here. I just, I just said that, you know, where, where we're taking our own body and things that we can get out of our own body and use our own body to cure ourselves, it cannot be against God. Yeah. You, you seem to have lost your enthusiasm uh, for investing in stel stem cell research uh, and therapy in, in the Bahamas. Uh, because I recall that you came to this studio and brought a number of other professionals yeah, here. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Um, and, and you were very enthusiastic about getting something going here oh. uh, in, in the Bahamas. You lost your enthusiasm for, for the work here in the Bahamas? I lost my confidence to be able to get it done here, you know, in time, fast enough. I, I uh, you know, I, I lost some of that for sure. Uh, I, I hate to say it even, you know. Uh, I haven't lost my enthusiasm to get this done. In fact, I'm a living proof that I'm even doing more and more and more, and I could, we could spend uh, two more hours talking about that part of it. Mm -hmm. And it's just not being done in Bahamas. We are losing it here. I can't sit here waiting around for Mr. Bacon's make it okay to do this. I cannot wait for Mr. Bacon to decide it's okay to do this. The trouble is that he's running this country instead of Prime Minister Christie. I want Prime Minister Christie to run this country, that not, might, Lewis, not Lewis Bacon. That, that doesn't sound too good to a whole lot of people <laughs> uh, to, to make such a, a, a suggestion. But that is the way you feel sometimes. You ask me how I feel if I lost my enthusiasm. I have lost my confidence, you know, that we can get this job done with our leader today because he's allowing Mr. Bacon to rule him as opposed to the other way around. Now, I want him to be the leader of this country. He's selected to be the leader. He is my leader. Please lead. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what my message is. Mr. Christie, please lead now, you know. <laughs> That is a good way to end the program. Yeah, yeah. Well, th thank you so very much for being here once again. And uh, you've, you've um, been very forthright um, t today. And uh, you have challenged this time the government of the Bahamas. Yes, yes. Yes, I have. And, 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 I, and, and I'm glad I did. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Peter Nagad, uh, quite a philanthropist here in the Bahamas and who has invested um, in the human resources of our country as well um, in so many ways. We didn't even talk about that, uh, the fantastic contributions he has made to the development of sports and, and other pursuits of the Bahamian people, and we thank him so very much. Thank you for watching and listening. Good evening, everyone. Were well, you powerful today?